Hello Star Wars fans and collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Today we'll be looking at a vintage figure from Wave 6 of the Vintage line, and it is the very awesome Wee Quay Skiff Master from Return of the Jedi at Jabba's Palace. Now if you're new to my channel, if you go down to the little toolbar down below, you can kick this review into 720p HD quality. Um, I picked this guy at my picked this guy up at my Walmart the other day, and I was able to retrieve the punch tab to uh, complete the card back. So I was really glad to find that. This guy or the picture of this character was taken right above the battle, above the Sarlacc in Return of the Jedi. So just turned around, we got a picture of the character, same as the front, as well as the other characters in the wave. And I'll just read from the back. It says, Celebrate the legendary Star Wars Star Wars saga that changed the universe forever. This collection brings to life the incredible story of good versus evil that captured our imagination and took us to a galaxy far, far away. Iconic Star Wars heroes and villains are captured with incredible detail and premium features to commemorate each epic tale in the Star Wars saga. May the Force be with you. So that's about it for this uh, very nice card back. Let's move on to the figure. All right. So here he is. Just move in a little closer. Now this guy is of the Weequay species, which is a very, very prominent species in the Star Wars saga. So it's really nice to get a figure of one, uh, especially for the our Jabba's Palace setups, as most collectors have one, just because it's such a fun um, scene to create because of all the different aliens and species present there. So I just would like to um, zoom into the head sculpt here. Um, the weak way, the detail on this weak way is just great. Uh, as you can see, the head has lots of detail to it, and Hasbro really did a great job of capturing the weak way look. Now, as you can see, he has some kind of braids or a uh, ponytail or something like that on the back of his head. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, we quay are typically found in desert climates. Uh, for example, Tatooine doing a job just being like space pirates or whatnot. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out and show you the clothing he's wearing. Um, very nice. Looks kind of worn, weathered, um, kind of wrinkled. And also in the grooves it looks like there's some dirt almost so a really nice job of keeping it uh, authentic to the desert look. Um, he does have several weapons. First one is his uh, small skiff guard blaster here which I'll just uh, show you. Looks very nice. Um, I'm not sure if they're exclusively used by the skiff guards but that's where we see them the most and also the small paint applications really uh, pull the weapon together and really make it just that much better. That's kind of what the vintage line has been about. It's just really bringing all the detail to the table with these figures. Um, as you can see in his belt, he has a small holster and the uh, skiff guard blaster can fit in it, as well as two small pouches. He has a large one there and a very small one there, so that's very nice. Zoom out, I'll show you the rest or the other weapon he comes with. He comes with this uh, skiff guard battle axe or staff or vibro axe. Uh, a nice uh, accessory or weapon to be packed with this guy. However, I already have several Jabba's uh, palace characters that have this. So, you know, just to not have all my figures with the same weapon, I decided to um, have this weapon absent on this guy. But overall, you know, the weapons packed in it are very nice. So let's just move this guy back. Uh, finally, we'll look at the legs. You know, there really isn't much there, and there isn't much with the feet or the shoes either. They just have some uh, small black stripes on them. Let's very quickly look at the reverse of the figure. So the articulation is also very nice for this guy. 
He has super articulation, which includes ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, which are kind of restricted by the clothing he's wearing, but you know, he stands fine, so it's not much of a problem. Uh, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So overall, this guy can get into many poses. Really happy to include this guy to my Jabba's Palace scene. So that's about <clears throat> that's about it. So before I go, I'd just like to show you some other little goodies that I have recently purchased. Um, the first being a Galactic Heroes pack from my local Ross for three ninety nine, and that is the Clone Wars Anakin and Ahsoka in space gear. So they basically come with the uh, fish tank style helmets. <coughs> So these guys are usually like six or seven dollars. So for three ninety nine, I thought, you know, why not? And also, I believe Target is putting these guys out on clearance because the line has been discontinued. So I'll hopefully try and track down some more of those. Uh, next, I purchased a seven piece value pack um, at Ross again for two ninety nine of school supplies. So I'm just going to keep these in the package. Um, they come with some Star Wars pencils notepad, calculator, eraser, and pencil sharpener, sh pencil sharpener, all under the Star Wars theme. And you know, what really caught my attention for this was the very retro looking uh, C-3PO pencil sharpener. I mean, it looks very 1977-esque, so I really like that. So that's about it for that. And then finally, at my local Dollar Tree, uh, for $4, I picked up four um, activity books. Now, I picked up many activity books um, in the past, and, you know, I just saw these and they really caught my attention, and, you know, I thought, why not? I don't have these already. Um, I really don't use them for anything. I don't color or do the little puzzles in them. I just really like the covers and have about ten of them now, so that's uh, kind of a small collection growing, I guess. So we got the Yoda one, and this one says Jedi Masters. Really nice cover for that one. Uh, then I found the Friends and Foes, which is uh, an amazing cover of the 501st Clone Troopers. Really love that cover. Very nice. And you know, it's the same thing on the back. Uh, then I found the Empire Begins with the uh, Darth Vader one with the Death Star in the background. So that's very nice. And then finally, I found the my favorite one, which is Into the Fight, with good old Boba Fett on it, and a very nice action pose. So that's very cool. So that's about it for this Star Wars figure review. Um, thanks for watching, and my next review will probably be on another vintage item. So once again, thanks for watching. Uh, video responses are welcome. Please comment and subscribe. Um, and until next time, Star Wars collectors keep collecting, Star Wars fans start collecting, and may the Force be with you. Bye.